So I got the package, we just opened it up. I've never heard of it. This is actually a $60 million company with one product, mud water. Now this is a coffee replacement for people that want to quit coffee. In this video, I'm gonna break down how the hell they did it. And no, this is not sponsored. We were just fascinated how a one product business is doing so much. Let's dive in. This idea actually came in India in 2015 when Shane was there drinking masala chai. It tasted great, awesome caffeine kick, but it didn't actually make him feel anxious or jittery like coffee did. So when he started making his own mud after he was inspired, he mixed in the masala chai spices to make it taste great. But he was super into health and fitness too, so he added some more spices to make the mud even more health beneficial. Why did this actually work? So coffee is a huge S category. Maybe not everyone wants to drink it every single day, but there really was no market alternative. And he actually thought if he could make it a coffee replacement, there would be a lot of people who'd be open to switching to it. Stick around to the end where you can see me do the unboxing and putting all the mud together and actually giving more of a taste test of what I actually think about it. All right, so how did Shane actually take his idea and turn it into a business? So he actually launched it in a weekend. And if you have heard of me talk about the million dollar weekend, it's so cool that he did it. Now he designed packing label, he ordered on Vistaprint. He set up a website on Squarespace and he didn't spend a lot of time analyzing the market, total address the market, nothing like that. He knew that if he could get people to buy the mud, other people would probably do too. He didn't go get experts, he didn't do a bunch of research, he actually ordered the ingredients on Amazon, rented a space in a commercial kitchen, and mixed batches of mud together for hours to find the flavor that he actually really enjoyed. You can do it too for whatever type of business that you have out there, so a lot of props on that. Now to get the first customer, Shane posted a simple Instagram ad that said, we're not mad at coffee, we're just disappointed, so we made something better. I know, that is an amazing hook, because if you're a coffee drinker, which is literally hundreds of millions of people, if not billions, and there's something better than that, you're like, okay, I at least wanna try it out. Orders started rolling in immediately, and the ads were working just really well, so they did even more ads. And again, we talk about this in a marketing strategy on this channel, is double down. So whenever you find something that's working for your business, do a lot more of it versus always trying to look for the new things. So he didn't really know anything about how to run ads. He just ran them. It was profitable and he did a lot more of it. Now, in terms of Mudwater's revenue, they hit six figures of revenue in six months and then more than a million in their first year. Find something that people are really excited about. And I know people have heard that, but when you finally put something out there and you're making six or seven figures in your first year, people want it. Jane could actually barely keep up with demand. And that's actually where problems started to happen. Now, trying to keep up with the demand almost sank the business. So challenge number one, he actually had to figure out the supply chain because Shane just started by ordering spices off Amazon because it was the same price as a wholesaler and it was fast, like way faster. But as more and more orders actually started coming in, he needed these ingredients in bulk, but he couldn't find the right suppliers because most of them were actually just selling generic versions of the ingredients. And he needed the high quality stuff that he's promising in this kind of product. So in outsourcing the product packaging took extremely long as well. So one thing I want to just call out right in this moment is that a lot of people are like, well, how do I get packaging? And how do I get the ingredients? And how do I get the wholesaler? And then actually getting the customers, which is the hard part is really challenging. I actually really like how Shane did it, which is let me see if I can create something that people really want. Now these problems of supplies and packaging, hopefully we'll hear in the story that he overcame it. So Shane packed the mud in tins, as you can hear here, but packaging suppliers wanted to pack it in bags. Now these bags are easier to automate for them, but Shane wanted it to be as eco-friendly as possible. So he spent months looking for a supplier that would actually pack it. And it is funny, as I got this, I was like, oh man, I wonder why doesn't he just do it in bags or I could just go buy chai tea in bags for much cheaper than this. And after 10 months, he finally found a factory that would do this tins versus the bags. So we went with them. Now the ingredients are sourced directly from suppliers all over the world. Now he had another challenge, which is getting funding. Now Shane started this with a $5,000 credit card limit and that, that was pretty much it. And so he was using a salary from his day job, again, something I highly recommend y'all do, to pay for ingredients and these ads every month. But the man was just growing and he could not keep up. And he got to a breaking point. He was spending mornings and lunches packing orders. After work, he was mixing spices. And the weekends he spent taking orders to the post office. He was running on empty trying to get all this stuff done. So he had a choice to make, either quit his job and focus on mud water full time, or he had to quit mud water because he could not keep up with this demand. So he called his friend Paul on the phone. What up, Paul? I'm stressed, man. I'm on the brink of tears. I don't know what to do. And Paul said, hold on. The customer testimonials are just insane. You cannot give up on this. I'm gonna write you a check for 25K. You're not gonna say anything about it. Go quit your job tomorrow and get to work. That's a good ass friend. I hope if you guys have someone like that in your corner. Paul sent in the check, the money was in the bank account. Shane quit his job the next day and focused completely on growing in Mudwater. After that, they actually raised a million dollars in funding from investors in their first year, and they've raised over 20 million since then. He had another challenge. He actually had to convince people it was as good if not better than coffee. This product, you could go and copy and make it for cheap yourself, but it's interesting how one, it makes it convenient for you, but two, they actually put it, you know, like they talk about breathing and exercising. That is what a brand is. It's the experience you get feeling someone. Now, the brand is what's really interesting. They're talking about sleep. They're talking about breath work. It's actually what makes you feel connected to mud water and supporting them on their journey as well as benefiting yourself because you like who they are. Now, there's a bunch of other coffee replacements that are out there, 
but Mudwater ended up winning because their marketing is so damn good. Let's check out some of their different marketing. Oh my God, it's so clean. Like, look at the website. It's definitely like, and I love when you come to a website, there's one clear CTA, which is try it, should be included. You see 14,000 reviews. They got this kind of like nice little video on repeat. It's definitely with the, you know, direct to consumer DTC revolution and health revolution. It's kind of tapping into that. The brand new morning ritual, little woo. I like the coffee alternative or like there's something better than coffee. But as you get known, you can kind of start changing that stuff. Oh, nice product extension, a evening ritual. One thing I want to call out on the marketing, it's kind of small here, is that because people drink coffee all the time, it's addicting. It built in that every three weeks you get an automatic refill. It's a great idea for a business. This may not be always great for the consumer, but if you're drinking coffee all the time, it's nice that it can come automatically. Now, one of the things that's really fascinating about this business is that they're not having a ton of product line. They don't have 8,000 products and all these SKUs and all this stuff. It's like literally one Product. And I love the beauty that they found one thing that was just such a massive market and they created their own unique angle of it and that has created such a significant business. It's really interesting how they've approached it, right? They show you the ingredients they're using. Tom's Toothpaste did this like 10, 20 years ago when they were like, hey, we're organic. Hey, we're gonna start donating money. This is the modern relevant version of that where it's like, here's the ingredients, here's where they're from, here's our story. Like it's the same thing where like they're creating a brand experience which is really strong. So one thing to think about is like, who's the customer that actually wants this? One. There's a lot of people that drink coffee, but who are the people that drink coffee and care about health or are open-minded to trying aura rings? So I would try to look for those concentric circles of like caffeinated coffee drinkers plus health conscious. I mean, the one thing that's also really strong about their brand is they picked an enemy. So if you see in their branding on screen, it says F your coffee, or it says like coffee is overrated, we found a new alternative. And so it's really hammering at home like, hey, you made a good decision. You're actually doing something better for yourself. They didn't even realize. So there's some gigantic themes that we can take away in Shane's business as well as for your own. First off, pick a big ass market that people are addicted to. Coffee is not the worst thing in the world. And so it's really interesting that he found something that is an alternative that wasn't existing out there. Next up, Shane just launched. He didn't go and say, hey, I wanna watch a bunch of YouTube videos. I wanna go read a bunch of books. I need to go to courses. I need to go to like some class. He was just like, now, not how. He's like, I'm gonna put up the website. I'm gonna run a few ads. I'm gonna see if my friends and family are gonna buy it. And guess what? At the end of the day, what you're really looking for is what Shane was able to luckily find is a product that was highly desirable. And lastly, powerful marketing. Their website is gorgeous. When you get the product, it says like, F your coffee, has your new morning ritual, the, the photos are great. And so again, I think for all of us, for AppSumo, for your business, for your content creation, whatever it is, what's the brand experience and how do you want customers to feel with your brand? And I think they've done, dialed it really well in. So we actually ordered mud water to test the hype. Add one teaspoon of mud. I gotta go get a tablespoon. I'm just gonna highball it. That's about a tablespoon. <laughs> Add one teaspoon of creamer. All right, I love the, the Whole Foods. People are bougie, want the new stuff. Sometimes the old stuff's pretty damn good too. So one teaspoon, and we're gonna add some hot water. How does this work? Oh, it's basically a bunch of blenders. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. I, I'm having a good time, it's pretty interesting. All right, so I'm trying the Mud Latte 2.0. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what you were, what were expecting. I don't get really super impacted by the coffee, so at the end of the day, I'm really judging it based on taste, and it tastes like a chai tea. If this video inspired you to start your own business while working a day job, very similar to Shane, make sure to check out this video right up here where I break down the exact steps for you to get started. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done it yet. Uncle Noah loves you, and I'll see you out there. Pew pew.